Hello and welcome to Druid School lesson number 11, The Seer's Path, Part 1. Uh, I want to thank you guys for taking your time out to join me tonight here on YouTube. And we're just going to make this short. This is going to be Part 1. And then we're going to do, this is going to be a, like a little bit of the history of The Seer's Path and what it's about. And then we will move into Part 2 which we're going to give you some practical applications and things that you can do as a seer. Now we've talked about the uh, Ovates, or we we've talked about the Bards and Joys. Now we're going to talk about the Ovate Seers. The Ovate Seers were the ones that were midwives, they were herbalists, they were those who looked into the future. Um, they had great importance among the tribes, and they took care of things. They were the ones that took care of the midwives, uh, duties, and um, they were greatly respected because they were with you from the cradle to the grave. They had things that were duties that they took care of the entire tribe for the entire life cycle of the people that were in it, including their own. Um, so they could birth you, they could uh, you know, help with various rites of passage and things like that, leading rituals, doing things for the women and the men. And I think one of the most important things about the Seer's Path is the Seer's Path is the path of knowledge. Uh, you know, we talk about the things that we study for Druidry, um, um, you know, learning the ritual things, and then we learn the path of the Bard, which is, you know, chronicling everything with song and story and so forth but it's the seers themselves that kind of looked into the future to see what was ahead for the tribes what was imminent what was going to happen and they could uh you know help magically to kind of of uh connect with the gods connect with the spirits place connect with the ancestors connect with the other world connect with Ternanok to do all these different things uh, to connect with the underworld, which that's one of the things that we're eventually going to get into is do some underworld journey, journeying as seers. And I think that's one of the most important things that we can do is to look ahead. We've seen the past, we're living in the future, but we need to know what's going to be before us. So that gives us uh, a little bit of, of hope. Okay. Um, also, there was the instances of the uh, Seer's Path where uh, they were very important through the end of life, okay? Uh, they would be the ones that would help prepare people for their next journey going into the other world. Um, it is said that at a person's death that the uh, Ovate Seer's the, the, they, they were basically the shamanesses of the, of the uh, clans that they would come to your home, come to where you were, and on your, last, on your last minutes that they would lean over and they would speak into your ear and they would give you directions and comfort and what to do when you got into the other world. So they were like the ones that led you there, that led you past the ninth wave, brought you into the world of Mananon and took you, you know, into that next life. So the, the people that follow that are not just doing the midwifery and doing the herbalism, which we're going to be doing some, some Sears herbalism too. Some things for vision working and things like that. So this is going to be very hands-on. So this is just going to be a very short episode. Um, Druid School Lesson Number 11, Part 1, The Sears Path. Basically, you are the ones that are seeking the future, that are working with your hands, that are doing the things that are needed to keep the tribes on its feet. Medically, some of you were doctors. You did the medical things and stuff. So it was very, very imp an important part of the tribe. Uh, keep an eye out. We've got more lessons coming up. We've got all kinds of things coming on for Druid School. Like I said, Druid School Lesson 11 Part 2 of the Seer's Path is going to be practical applications. Keep an eye out for that. 
Um, also, we have our uh, uh, Missouri Druid School on Facebook. Look us up there if you'd like to learn a little bit more. And uh, keep an eye out for uh, more things. We've got some things that are going to be coming up that I'm going to uh, let you guys know about. So we definitely got some things coming. And uh, I will put down in the, in the doobly-doo a list of a couple books on Seership that I think would be very cool for you guys to check out. Um, plus links to our blogs and our other things like that. So having said that, I'm Reverend Sylvanus Tree Walker with the Order of Standing Oak. And here on YouTube, A Pagan Perspective. Tell your friends, like, comment, subscribe. And as always, from the Altars of the Ring, have a great night and we will see you again soon.